So good morning, everyone. Welcome and thank you for joining. Um, we have been using a little format recently uh, of starting with a particular quote by Paramahansa Yogananda, who is my teacher. Um, and I find it helpful because it gives us a direction for the class. So the quote that we're starting with today, and you might like to get yourself comfortable and seated upright because I'll just say a little something about um, writings by great teachers. It's not so much the words that we're absorbing. You know, the words help to point us. They're like a sign pointing down. This is the path. But it's the consciousness behind these words that is really valuable. And so by being still and by being inward, uh, you'll have much more of a deep relationship with these words than if you were to just sort of hear them in passing by. So let's go ahead and assume whatever comfortable posture that you can at this moment to keep your spine upright. And let's even tense the whole body. So we'll take a double inhale and squeeze the body until it starts to vibrate. So squeeze your muscles, squeeze, 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 and then gradually release them. <sighs> Try it again. Tense the body, vibrate the muscles, belly, ribs, chest, arms, legs, and then release. One more time. Waking the body up and throwing out any inner subconscious tensions and release when you're ready. So Yogananda writes, you can have eyes closed, eyes open, but just feel yourself in a receptive place to receive the consciousness behind these words. It's a short one, so we'll take it in nice and deep and repeat it several times. Yogananda writes, by the practice of meditation, you will find that you are carrying within your heart a portable paradise. By the practice of meditation, you will find that you are carrying within your heart a portable paradise. By the practice of meditation, you will find that you are carrying within your heart a portable paradise. Let's just take a few moments to soak that in, to let it set in as deep as it's ready to, to tune in with your own heart this morning and rising in aspiration, always upward in your practice towards the spiritual eye. By the practice of meditation, you'll find that you are carrying within your heart a portable paradise. And this quote is very important. It says many things to us by the practice of meditation. Meditation is becoming increasingly more aware. Any activity that leads to an increase of awareness is leading you into a state of meditation. Meditation is both a practice, but it is also a state of being. And it's the same thing for our physical yoga asanas. We're practicing a physical movement of the body, but on an inner level, we are attuning ourselves to a particular consciousness or a way of perceiving and experiencing. And the quote goes on to say, you will find, you'll discover within yourself that you are carrying within your heart a portable paradise. And there's an, a very important implication in the ending of this quote that within our hearts, we have a portable paradise. And it is that whatever that we are really seeking in our lives, whatever our hearts are calling for, that it can only be found inside that feeling of paradise, the feeling of perfect bliss and connection, that there's really nothing out there that leads to it. I had a, some very real experiences this week of how disappointing the world of senses can be. So 
Let's take that into our practice today and really discover for ourselves by increasing our awareness and becoming more aware of the body, more aware of the mind, uh, that feeling of paradise within our own hearts and our minds. And what better way to start than with a chant? That's what I say anyway. Chanting is a great way to open that gate in your heart. And let's start with a very sacred chant and we'll dive right in. to be still. Sit up tall in your spine, heart open, and your gaze gently lifted. Hands together in prayer in front of the heart, offer 
an intention for your practice, attune yourself with a quality that you'd like to bring into your life. Above all, personalize this moment in the practice. Finish with your prayer, take an inhalation and expand that prayer upwards and release while the arms come out and around and down towards the body. Let's just take a few rounds of inhaling and lifting the arms above the head. Exhaling, releasing them down. Relaxing the body as you move, extending as far as you can. Expand your awareness and your body together. one hand on the ground. You can reach with the opposite arm, palm facing up over above the head, and then exhaling to wave to the other side. So just taking a few moments to wake into the body. If you notice any part of your body feels particularly frozen or is holding in a defensive position, if you can bring some softness and a deeper awareness, a warmth of breath to these parts of the body, they'll begin to let go for you. There's a couple more rounds here, letting your frame of mind shift from one that is solid or fixed into a more fluid state where you're malleable, flexible, adaptable. And then we'll just go ahead and come into a twist. So take one hand and wrap it as far as you can back towards the heart. Good, and then release that hand around, do the other side. You can synchronize side to side. Just waking very gently into the spine. Coming back to center, we'll hold on to the knees, or some of us even take hands behind us, but you're gonna lift your chest. If you're holding the knees, lift the chest and look up, and then exhale and round the back, right from the base of the spine, round all the way up to the head, like this letter C, and inhaling, waving up through the spine, lifting the crown. Take a couple more rounds here. If you need to move your feet or your legs in any way, feel free. There's a saying in the yogic world that the spiritual path is three and a half feet long, and this is the length of your spine. Where our energy is in our spine is very important. Keep ushering that energy higher up in the spine. And then let's go ahead and just come into a little lateral rocking side to side. If you want, you can hold on to the knees. And try looking down in this, down over one shoulder. As you're leaning towards your right side, you're looking over left. Get into all those little base muscles of the lower spine. Good, and then start to work it up. We'll start by circling. So go ahead, you can keep holding the knees if it's comfortable. So the belly rolls out forwards and then on exhale, you're rounding back. So make sure you get some articulation of the spine here. Just keep softening the body and allowing warmth of deeper breath. Begin softening the joints. Whenever you're ready, reverse the direction and start to loosen up in the shoulders a little bit. We're gonna start inviting the shoulders as the next phase of this little warm up for the body. And then starting to invite the shoulder. So maybe you lead forward with one shoulder and then roll back with the other. Find a way to art 
articulate through your shoulders a little bit more here. So the circle may become really dramatic. All just an intuitive movement. You're feeling the body as it's moving and adjusting your interaction based on what you need in your own body. So you can even send shoulders up by the ears even, maybe we come into neutral and just do a little bit of rolling of the shoulders, more traditional. Hands on the thighs is a very supportive way to do this. You might like to close your eyes even so that you can anchor your awareness in that part of the body that is moving. And then try one shoulder at a time, a little asymmetrical movement. Your body is sore or feels stiff. It's almost like a desert land in your body. It's thirsting for some breath, for your attention. Let's get into the neck. You can just start by lifting and lowering the chin up and down, tracking vertically. When your chin is up, close your mouth firm. When you're down, relax the back of the neck. Just a couple times here and then side to side, chin parallel to the earth, moving left and right. And then if you feel comfortable too, you can drop the chin down and do a little waving. So it's as though you're trying to roll one of your ears under the shoulder and then roll over to the other side. Try to avoid rolling backwards, but just washing side to side. And then ending here, just take a little tension into the neck. So like you're gathering all the muscles of the neck and do a little circling as if you had a pencil on the top of your head and you're drawing a circle on the ceiling. Using that tension to squeeze any energy out of the neck that doesn't belong and then reverse the direction. And then coming into stillness as though you're going to pluck one hair from the very top of your head. Just use your fingers to pull yourself energetically. And let's just take a moment in our seat to feel the effects of all these movements. gaze penetrating upward excellent okay and then we'll open our eyes and get a little more wakeful in our practice here so a nice little warm-up that is to wash the knees side to side we really want to be working in our spine in this practice You roll the knees, you lift the heart and gaze over the opposite shoulder. So that you're squeezing out in the lower spine, lifting in the chest. Generous breath. And then come over and do a twist on either side and dip both of your hands over off to the side and maybe even behind you and just look behind you. The idea here is to lift up through the spine. So as you twist, you're twisting up, spiraling upward. And when you're ready, you can come to the other side. So just roll the knees over, both hands step over to the side and then actually walk them behind you a little bit more so that you are twisting. That twist starts at the base of the spine and it spirals upward. And then go ahead and release as you feel ready to. And let's take a moment here. We'll hold onto the backs of our thighs. We're going to start in our first posture, formal anyways, boat pose. So take the elbows and seal them by the sides and lift the chest and roll onto the heels. Now, if you feel 
that the body is stimulated in this part, you might just rest the palms up, maybe one at a time or both, and find deep breath here. Some of us may want to come back and lift the feet off of the ground. And we might have the physical capacity to lift the palms from here. So above all, there's a broadness in the heart and there's a depth in the breath in this practice. The affirmation within my every breath is infinite power. Stay another breath if you can. And when you're ready to come down, you just release the hands and wave the knees right away. So roll out any energy that may be bound in the low spine or the hips. We're gonna extend the feet nice and long here. You can bend the knees if you need to. We're lifting our hips up off of the ground and gazing over our navel. So if you have legs extended, point the toes and squeeze the thighs, the knees, and the glutes to hold you up. Take a few breaths here. Just your first pass into the pose. And then exhaling, come down, especially if the lower back feels stiff. Take the knees and bend them and wave them side to side. You want to be gentle as the body is opening, giving it time to do so in its own natural order. We're going to rise back up, fingers pointing towards the heels when you're ready. This time with the affirmation, with a burst of energy, I rise to greet the world. With a burst of energy, I rise to greet the world. Keep the heart open, looking straight in front of you. Toning the arms, the belly. And then slowly lowering down. Good, let's take our legs nice and long still, pull the muscle of the glutes out, out of the way. And we're just gonna do a practice here of rowing. So you inhale to reach for the oars and then exhale to pull them towards the heart. Inhale to reach and exhale. Keep the toes sharply pointed upward. Nice smooth movements are calming for the mind. Be sure to be present as you're moving, especially in your lower spine. Now, some of us even go back further here and almost as though you're gonna lay down, but then change your mind. So you can really extend this movement. It's a great way to get into the belly, to awaken the Agni or the inner fire. Now, if you feel really inspired, you can inhale and wave your arms up and around like you're swimming. You draw the oars in and then take a dive into the ocean. Good. Everything's nice and smooth. And then at some point you lay the hands onto the legs and just release the head and the neck. Take a few deep breaths as you might be experiencing a little pulling along the spine here. If you are, just wiggle the toes or scrunch the nose, wrinkle the forehead. When you're ready to, you can rise. Let's just take a moment of stillness in our practice. This is Dandasana or staff pose. Actively push off of the ground to lengthen your spine and sit tall. And release that practice. Let's go ahead and turn our hands off to our side and you're going to slide your bottom leg underneath here. So if you're starting the same side as us, you have your right knee down. Good. And let's go ahead and point our toes out nice and long in this version here. 
and your hand not under the shoulder is one step forwards and you're reaching up into the sky. If you feel to, you can take that top arm, palm facing down and reach up overhead. The affirmation, the calm fire of my concentration burns all restlessness, all distraction. The calm fire of my concentration burns all restlessness, all distraction. We're going to wave that hand down and back onto the hips. If you have healthy knees, you may choose to up and lift onto one of your legs. So your opposite leg is floating. If you feel inspired, you might reach up to the sky. Feeling especially in the region of the solar plexus, the Agni or digestive fire starting to stimulate. And then when you're ready, you're gonna place that side down and we're gonna stand nice and strong. So inhale, use the strength of your body and you're coming all the way into the alternate expression, which is gate pose. Opposite arm reaching. Finding a healthy balance between effort relaxation. The affirmation waves of joy surge upward in my spine. Waves of joy surge upward in my spine. And when you're ready to come down, start to roll the heart towards the earth. You can come down through this inside pathway if you'd like, and then set both hands onto the ground, and we'll come on to hands and knees for a moment. Let's reset in the spine by enjoying a few rounds of cat and cow. So on inhalation, the cow position, we drop the belly, arch the spine. On exhalation, round the back and look to the lap. So a little different entry point here. We're gonna extend our right leg this time and go ahead and stand up onto this knee. If you need extra support for balance, take your supportive leg and sweep the foot a little behind you. And then walk your hand just beyond the shoulder. What this will do is it'll help you to lengthen through your spine rather than being contracted tight towards the body, opposite arm reaches. And your toes are pointing out nice and long here. This will set the pose in a different shape for you. If you feel called, you take that top hand, palm facing down, and reach up overhead for a full lengthening of the pose. Calm fire, my concentration burns all restlessness, all distraction. Calm fire, my concentration burns all restlessness, all distraction. And we'll take the top arm and lower it down for a moment of rest onto the hip. And if you feel to, you roll up onto one leg and lift the other leg, flex the toes now towards the face. Keep the whole side body engaged. Nice deep breath here. Transitioning gracefully, we're setting this foot down. Toes are now pointing in the direction of your heart. So you're sealing the side of the ankle down, or side of the foot down, and slowly start to draw yourself up. Take your time, coming right into gate pose, leaning over and reaching the arm upward. The affirmation, waves of joy surge upward in my spine. Waves of joy surge upward in my spine. Try 
by smiling, even if you don't feel to. And ready to come down. Inhale to expand. Exhale, start to roll the heart towards the earth. Bow the hips backwards as you lower down. Hands coming back onto the earth, stepping knee back underneath the body. A couple rounds of cat and cow here just to get the spine happy. Remember, there's more to your spine than just the lower region. You're going all the way up, tucking chin towards chest on cat pose. And then dipping down low and inhaling, lifting and aspiring on cow pose. And we're going to tuck the toes underneath and press the hips up into the sky. And just take a little bend of one knee, bend of the other. And try looking. So as your left knee is bending, you're looking under your right armpit. And then switch sides. Just so that the head and the neck aren't frozen in the pose. And we're not staying here, it's just a transition pose. We're going to take a large step forward with left foot all the way between the hands. We're going to turn our feet up nice and wide so that we are standing the length of our mat here. Head is still low. If your toes are pointing out, heels are towards the center. Good, and we're just gonna track side to side. If your hands touch the ground, use your hands. Otherwise, just stay on your knees and go side to side. Now, if you're tracking side to side, feel free to twist if you're using the earth, which means as you go over towards your right side, it's the right arm that goes high and then vice versa. And then take a moment of stillness in the center whenever you feel called. When you're folding forward, toes point inward, heels are pointing out. This may be a very uh, slight modification, or some of us can do it more dramatically. Just let the head and neck rest. And the affirmation, I relax and cast aside all mental burdens. I relax and cast aside all mental burdens. You don't need your hands to balance. You can massage at the base of the skull, top of the spine, a little soft, plexus of muscle there. Good. And then releasing, we're going to heel to our feet right into the center of the mat. Good. Bend the knees and roll up the spine right from the middle of your mat until you come into standing position. Inhaling, sweeping the arms up. Exhaling, hands come into the heart. We'll just take our 90 degree turn to come back to the front of the mat if you haven't already. Let's inhale, palms staying in prayer, reaching above the head, little back bend, and then exhale, take a big forward fold all the way down. Beautiful. Inhale, slide the hands up the legs, lengthen the spine, press off of the thighs. Exhale to fold back down, bend the knees, roll up the spine. Inhaling, arms come right back into prayer. Use the belly muscles, tone to reach behind you. Good, and then exhale this time, arms nice and wide. Excellent. All right, let's come into a little activating practice. You're gonna take soft hands to the heart. And you're gonna inhale and tense your arms out. Relax them in. Inhale, tense them forwards. Relax them in. Double inhale up. And double exhale down. Good, so we inhale. Exhale, 
Double inhale. And double exhale. Tense out. Tense forward. Tense up. Relax down. Tense out. Relax. Tense forward. Relax. Tense up. Relax down. Good. Now with the affirmation, you guys can say it mentally if you're doing the breath. Or you can say it out loud. I'm positive, energetic, enthusiastic. I am positive, energetic, enthusiastic. I'm positive, energetic, enthusiastic. Good. Come right into stillness for a moment here. Take a deep breath in. And let's take the hands. We're going to tumble them in front of the heart. I just want you to imagine that you're breaking up any resistant thought patterns, any energies in the heart that are unwilling to move. Good. And then inhale, send all the energy up to the sky. Exhale, take a full reset. Bathe down, all the way down. Inhaling to lift halfway if you feel called, or just take some time in your forward fold to relax the head and the neck. The affirmation, nothing on earth can hold me. Nothing on earth can hold me. Let's slowly start our ascent. So using strength, pushing through soles of the feet, rising up through the body, arms all the way up overhead, and we'll seal it all back into the spine, hands into the heart. Just take a moment here, shift the weight onto the balls of your feet. Stand bright through the front side of the body. Try to relax every muscle in your body. And gently relax the hands down. Eyes can slowly come back open. Let's take a big step with our right foot all the way back. Heel sealed onto the ground, foot at an angle. We're coming into our warrior two position. What this means is your hips open. You can always set your hands right on the hip bones to notice where they're pointing. So rather than forwards, we're open to the side. Let's inhale and draw the energy up through the body, into the heart, and then unfurl through the arms, palms facing up. And then shift your gaze right over your left shoulder line and through the palm. The affirmation, I joyfully manifest the power of the divine. I joyfully manifest the power of the divine. For those of us wanting a little more challenge, sink down a bit lower. Careful not to overextend your knee over your ankle. You may need to slide your back leg away. Good. Let's come into it one more time. Inhale, draw the inner thighs together. Feel the legs coming together and lift up through the chest and heart and let the arms bloom out to the sides. Remembering our beginning quote about meditation. Meditation is any expansion of awareness. So if you expand your awareness into your hands, into your feet, into your head, you're cultivating a state of meditation. Let's let the palms come down for a moment to rest here under the hips. And as many steps as you need to, you step forwards. If you can do one step, you might like that challenge. So as many as you'd like until you come all the way back to standing. Good. Let's just circle out the foot low to the ground, recharging the area of the hip, then reverse the direction. Do it another side. 
Testing your balance a little. Reverse the direction. Let's take a posture in between here. We're going to go ahead and draw the hands into the heart and you're going to roll along the index finger. So it might take you a couple of times, but you're going to spread your hands forwards. So see if you can roll your hands like that. It's like a little, I don't know, magician's trick. And you're going to come into your chair position. So go ahead and roll the hands out and reach them as you sit down into the chair position. Affirmation, my body is no burden, I'm light as air. My body is no burden, I'm light as air. Go down a little bit lower to really stimulate the energies of the Manipur or solar plexus. When you're ready to draw the hands into the heart, try Lotus Mudra. It's fun to do these little mudras, thumb and pinky connect and inhale and reach up to the sky. This is a devotional mudra. Looks like a flower and you exhale. Let all that energy expand out and around. But let's take another round. We'll go a little deeper here. So again, you roll onto the hands and offer them out as you sit down. For those of us that have healthy knees, try lifting onto the balls of the feet and lifting the heels. Relax your shoulders. Keep the belly firm while still allowing breath to flow. Some of us may be able to go all the way down. If you can, feel free. It's quite interesting to see if the body can go all the way down, just make sure you can get back up. When you're ready, you inhale. We're all sweeping out of the pose together, inhaling to rise. Heels settle down and then exhale, hands come nice and wide. Just take a moment here. My body is no burden, I am light as air. All your awareness coming back to the spine. And then gently open the eyes. And we'll finish our standing series in Warrior Two. So you step your left foot back, your front knee is bent. Knees right over the ankle and get solid. You might check your hips here to make sure you're at an angle rather than facing forwards. Just a little difference. And then inhale, draw the inner thighs together and lift through the pelvic floor as you draw the hands up through the heart and reach the arms out nice and wide. Keep the arms active in the pose. The whole body is engaged in each of these practices. The mind is not in your brain, it's in every atom of your body. The affirmation, I joyfully manifest the power of the divine. I joyfully manifest the power of the divine. We'll pass through another round here so that we can have a fresh experience with increased awareness. So draw the palms down first and inhale, push through soles of the feet and lift, lift, lift up through the solar plexus, the heart, reach that energy out nice and wide. Gently the arms can come back down to the hips. 
you prepare for your transition as many steps as you'd like or one big step you come all the way back up to standing and just like we did on the other side go ahead and take the foot for a spin here your whole leg is active think like you're pointing through your heel you can even flex your toes if you'd like and then to the other side and you can feel that your bone is mixing in the joint here of the hip, stimulating blood flow. Good. Let's take a circulation of the arms up overhead, and rest them into heart. Rolling weight under the balls of the feet. Take some moments for yourself in inner stillness. Careful not to let the mind drift into idle thought. Let's take a deep breath and reach the arms prayer coming through the spiritual eye above the crown of the head and expand yourself nice and wide. Let's add one more here. Get your feet nice and wide and reach your arms out. Face the palms up a little and start to create the shape of an X with your body. And gently as you lift the heart, let the chin roll back towards the throat a little as you look up. Just use this moment to claim victory now. I am victorious, for in truth you are. I am victorious. I am free. I am free. Stay here in this exalted position for a little longer if you can, stimulating the entire body. And turning the palms, letting them slowly come down. Good. Join the hands into prayer. And if you're not already at the front of your mat, go ahead and take a little walk there. And you're going to fold your body forwards as you slide the hands down the legs. Take a big step back with right foot. Stay in the lunging position. Switch sides. Now stepping right foot as left foot goes back. Taking a moment here on either side. If you feel comfortable, both feet step back, downward facing dog. Now you have a couple options. You can come down onto knees and then sweep the feet out of the way. Or you can try walking your feet up towards your hands and taking a little squat. So squatting down. Now if you can stay here, you can stay here. Otherwise you might just be sitting and wrap your arms over by your shins or your knees and sit up nice and tall. This pose does wonders for nervous tension, digestive disorders. Basically too much air quality in the body. Now it may seem like a long fall to just go ahead and sit down onto the ground. If you feel like you're gonna fall backwards, you might use your hands, but just go ahead and sit down and release the feet out in front of you. We're going to come all the way down onto our backs anyway, so just go ahead and take a roll back. Good. Let's take the feet off to the ground and just wave the knees side to side, both arms reached out wide. And 
then you take the right ankle and cross it over the left knee and wrap the hands around the back side of the left thigh and use your right elbow to push that right knee away from the body as you draw the other knee towards the chest. And then a little rocking might help to soothe some of that tension out of the hips. You could switch sides as you feel called to. You could stay floating if you'd like or touch one of the feet back down towards the earth if need be. Be sure to use the left elbow to push that thigh away from the body as you draw the opposite knee in towards the chest. Shoulders are relaxed here. And slowly settling feet back onto the earth. Let's come first into our bridge position. So you can press off of soles of the feet and lift the hips off of the ground. Draw the hands together and interlace the fingers in that gap. If you can, pull the shoulders, the muscles, the whole upper part of the arm underneath the chest so that your heart really expands. The affirmation, my every thought is a bridge to divine grace. My every thought is a bridge to divine grace. Keep drawing knees closer together, inner thighs awakening upward. Whenever you're ready and you feel to, to lower down, you just let the hands come out of the way and slowly slide the hips till they come back down to the earth. If you feel any tension in the low spine, wave the knees, or if you just want to twist, And the final pose for our class is going to be fish pose. So you take your feet and extend them nice and long. Palms are facing down, elbows are slightly bent. Depending on how long your arms are, you may need less or more of a bend. And you're going to slide onto the top of your head. It's really the back top of your head. And you lift your heart and balance your weight between head and arms. Holding the heart up off of the ground. Careful not to put too much weight on the top of the head. And then look right as though behind you up to the spiritual eye the affirmation, my soul floats on waves of cosmic light. My soul floats on waves of cosmic light. Now feel free to stay longer, but if you feel that you need to come out of the pose, the safe way to exit is to just slide the head out of the way and you'll feel the rest of the spine will follow. And especially with this pose, when you do come out, look right to the spiritual eye and lay in Shavasana with palms facing up.
Some of us, as we are lowering down, may want to draw the knees in towards the chest. This would be the counter pose, putting yourself in a little ball and rolling side to side. Keep everything deeply inward. The affirmation for this supine child's pose. I relax from outer involvement into my inner haven of peace. Now, when you feel called to, you can make your way into the final resting pose, which can either be Shavasana, especially if your body feels that it needs rest, or you may like to come into a seated posture for meditation. So whatever you'd like, now's a good time to come into that pose. I would recommend a blanket. For all of us, as we're relaxing into our final meditation, you can start by drawing a light tension throughout the whole body. So try double inhalation and just lightly tense the body and then release. A couple more times if you'd like to. Evenly distributing the energy all throughout the body. Now, before we all get too comfortable, if there's anybody that your chin is floating higher than your nose, just see if you can find a little pillow or a sweatshirt nearby and set your head on that. As you get more relaxed in your body, try drawing the shoulder blades together underneath the heart, creating a little point, a focal point behind the heart for a few moments. This will open your shoulders. And then let the heart really rest into that place. You may like to join your attention to the breath as you rest in Shavasana. The best of your practice capacity, try to avoid going to sleep or drifting into a state of unconsciousness. We let the body relax, but keep refining and sharpening the awareness through greater calmness greater sensitivity to feeling. And lastly, if the mind is very distracted or subject to these jaunts of mental wandering, then let it have an affirmation. Inhaling the sound of hong and exhaling the sound of saw. I am on inhalation, spirit on exhalation.
moving any part of the body. One might recall the words in the poem Samadhi. I am the vast ocean. Sees the little ego floating in me. You may feel the oceanic quality of your own awareness in this moment. body like a little frozen chunk of awareness drifting in your vast mental sea. The application of your will and your energy begin to return back to the body. Feeling the awareness beginning to center back at the point between the two eyebrows and then to ripple out into every other part of the body. Through the spine, into the limbs. Still in perfect stillness, conscious breath returns. Perhaps you can perceive the deep calm that has broken upon every cell of the body and the harmony that sweeps across Is the ideal time for an affirmation. Choose a divine quality that is near and dear to you and place it after the words, I am. I am peaceful, I am calm, I am joyful, I am free, whatever it is, and affirm at least three times the spiritual eye. When that seed is tucked away, you can go ahead and start to invite the energy back into the limbs, the legs, the arms, and start moving the hands and the feet a little, articulating toes and fingers. Get into the hands and the feet, wrists and ankles. Arms can go up above the head along the earth, toes pointing, fingers reaching for a dynamic expansion. You can do a little twisting side to side by bending the knees and waving them in either direction. Feeling the inner channel once again connected. And letting that inform all of your actions, all your activities. We'll roll our knees off to the right side. And if you need a moment, stay here and breathe, but otherwise we'll all come into a seated pose to move to the next aspect of our practice. Leave the eyes closed if you can and try not to fidget or move too much, but just come back to your seat. 
and steep right back into stillness. Behind closed eyes, see if you can sense with your awareness the sits bones, the two bones at the base of your hips. Let there be a rising quality all through the length of navel, heart, throat, base of the skull, all the way to the point between the two eyebrows, looking upward. Join with another affirmation, calmness radiates from every fiber of my being. Relax the muscles, calmness radiates from every fiber of my being. Make sure as we close here that the heart is wide open, shoulders relaxing down and behind the body. These next three breaths, let's be wholly present in our practice. Finish your breaths, hands are coming into the heart in prayer position. And let's just extend the benefits of our practice out into the world. This wonderful vibration and harmony that's in our body. Choose somebody in your life that could benefit from these practices, benefit from this consciousness, and we'll just see them bathed in a field of light, infused. Yogananda says to weave a garment of light around your heart. Let's see that for the soul that we are praying for, well wishing for. And you can rub the palms together. Get some good energy going here. Wake the body up if it feels a little sleepy. Extend the palms out, relax the body as you sit tall, and offer yourself as a channel for grace. We'll find three rounds of OM together here. Deep breath to begin. Oh. Inhale, reach the arms up above the head and feel that you're spreading a field of light all around your body. Extend that light as the palms drop down towards the earth. Join the hands in front of the body, spreading that light like rings of luminosity surrounding you. Go behind the body. And one more time, inhale, reach up, spread a bubble of light around the body. And rings of light in front. 
and then behind. And hands returning to prayer, gentle bow of the head towards our hands. We bow to the divine nature that sits resting, awaiting us to return, waiting for us to remember moment to moment our divine nature. And we honor that place in all beings by saying namaste. namaste. And take as much time as you need coming back, slowly opening the eyes. Just notice how you feel as you move into your day and in whatever capacity is available to you, let this energy keep weaving itself into your moments and interactions. <laughs> Linda says, ah, mm. yes, that's 